here comes the wild wild weather all right we've got severe weather to watch out for today and then we got severe weather to watch out for tomorrow the day after tomorrow the day after the day after tomorrow and then the day after the day after the day after tomorrow did i say that right all right all right all right and then can you guess which volcano eruption this is we're looking at in a cavalcade of it volcano eruptions that have been in 2021 if you guessed mount etla because of the architecture in italy then you are super duper fantastic asteroid fight club material speaking of that thanks to scotty greg and all of asteroid fight club i'm now only 353 dollars away from making my october 2021 fundraiser for thor news if you'd like to contribute i got a snail mail a paypal a venmo a cash app shown and a whole lot of love for y'all now let's get back to the crazy crazy weather and then on top of all the things we've got a major atmospheric river category five for some parts heading towards central california which could bring over 10 inches to rain to some spots and that is especially concerning for all the burn scar areas that were hit hard by wildfires this year and then along the coast or near the coast for washington oregon and of course california you're going to see up to 30 foot waves man it is going to be a crazy week of weather and you know usually about five days after an eris earth alignment we just watch for some super crazy oh my god the world ending weather and well it's here man i don't think the world's gonna end but i do think that the end of 2021 is just gonna keep getting crazier and wilder and weirder so prepare yourself mentally physically spiritually and it wouldn't hurt to have an extra month or two groceries and batteries and stuff stocked up because you know you got supply chain issues you still got like cold civil war issues you got plague issues and so we got a little bit of everything coming our way and it is now scorpio season rub Maida. eventually late tomorrow we should see wave heights increasing especially into monday breakers into the 20 to 30 foot range likely with high surf warning underway to 11 p.m on tuesday so the worst of the atmospheric river stuff should happen sunday into monday so right now is the undercard and when the sun acts weird earth weather acts weird and people kind of lose their minds and guess what far side sunspots the sunspot number is about to increase nasa's stereo a spacecraft is monitoring three active solar regions on the far side of the sun all three are poised to rotate to the sun's eastern limb in the next two to three days the fourth described below is already here so we got two sunspots now and two more coming i'm sorry three more coming so that'll be about a total of five sunspots and remember the sunspot number has beaten nasa and NOAA projections for 11 straight months as we are going into a very strong solar cycle 25 if you had predicted that we were going into lower oh, well i'm sorry you were totally wrong you know people get shit wrong sometimes though they don't always admit it when they're wrong though though yeah we live in a strange world strange times strange days it's definitely been too hot in texas and for a lot of the south and the northeast although it has been cooler up in the over here because earth is like a mcdlt where the hot side is hot and the cold side is cold and they bounce around like a lava lamp yeah man really crazy weather coming and we've been getting thunder here in houston almost all afternoon which is cool i really like the thunder but you can see from the mixed precipitation 48 hour channel here that we're going to be getting a lot of wild weather across the usa today and tomorrow all right so here's today's oh my god look out for tornadoes hail straight line winds area tomorrow's danger zone has a big orange bullseye and i wouldn't be surprised if it gets a red bean before it's all said and done but definitely sunday is looking like a wild wild weather day not only for the west coast but for parts of the central us of a and then monday the crazy weather area shifts to the east and that'll probably get an orange bean in there before we get to monday it is saturday right now and then on the tuesday you get there up into three multiple states and then wednesday 
you get it across the South. So Tuesday, you get across multiple states, and Wednesday, you get across the South. So that is a lot of projected wild, 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 wild weather over the next week, man. So buckle up, buddy. The La Palma volcano in the Canary Islands slash Spain slash Africa shows no signs of slowing down and just had its biggest earthquake yet, a 5.0, and is still smoking just like a dragon. But yeah, getting a, this is a rainfall, risk, excessive rainfall outlook, and to get a purple in California is very rare. But so you got a lot of yellows, a red, and then a ye yellow over here. So tomorrow, Sunday, the 24th, is definitely going to be a wild, wild, wild weather day. Boris the Bear dropping volcano knowledge like he just don't care. A few scenes of powerful paroxysm at Etna's southeast crater on the forenoon of 23rd of October 2021. Note the pyroclastic flow in the third photo. There were quite a few of them. Pyroclastic flow is the super hot gray mud, which is actually hotter than lava. Um, and we saw some of that coming out of Mount Aso in Japan the other day. So yeah, with all the gas giants and planets pretty much on the same side except for Mars, we're looking out for more earthquake and volcano activity. And I wouldn't be surprised if we see some, an earthquake, you know, of five or six larger somewhere along the west coast of the USA into Canada or down into Mexico over the next few days. Jack of Twitter is talking about hyperinflation. Russia and China's warships have conducted their first ever joint patrol in the western part of the Pacific Ocean. So, you know, things are getting more intense and, you know, the next five months are going to be possibly the craziest months we've ever seen. NASA's director, Bill Ness Nelson, says he hopes that the UFOs are not originating from an adversary here on Earth in an unprecedented new statement. I guess he's hoping they're coming from an adversary in outer space. Maybe they're the ones who gave us crypto. Alien reindeer have warned us that we need to calm down or else... Maybe I read that wrong. Taylor says she's on the blue team because she's so fucking sad. Aw, oh, do you need a hug, girl? I'm here for you. Man, that joke always gets me in trouble. But being the only guy in all of the truth community that is not trying to sell you guys mini ice age or grand solar minimum over the last six years, you know what? I think I can handle the trouble. But it's only because the Asteroid Fight Club, God, and Jesus are so awesome. Not necessarily in that order. Yeah, we got a lot of severe weather coming up. One, two, three, four. Five straight days of crazy-ass weather, bro. Technically, I've been warning everybody about this period since a year ago when we had the last earth Eris alignment. Then you had all the Pluto and Mars shit on top of it. We knew the end of October was going to be super crazy, so hopefully everybody is prepared as could be. All right, so let us get ready for some wild days ahead. Technically, I slept all day and night yesterday. And then I slept all this morning. So I got like 25, 26 hours of sleep, which was really weird. But, you know, the last two years, three years have been super crazy for me. So that's good news. And now I'm all ready to cover the next week. Just absolutely like crazy. So that is good news if you like listening to me, I guess. But yeah, it's been weird energy, man. But hey, if you want to dress up as a Grand Solar Minimum or a Mini Ice Age for Halloween, go right ahead. Um, you know, it might get down to 50 in the 40s for some parts on Halloween. And then we have major storms to watch out for on Halloween, like eight days from now. We got multiple nor'easters coming, supposedly, Asterix. But yeah, I know people get mad at me when I say this, but yes, I would hug Taylor again. But here's another look in another way at your atmospheric river. I've never hugged Selena or Olivia. I would definitely do that. Hugs have healing powers, and sometimes healing hurts. What's it talking about? Yeah, crazy shit. Crazy shit coming up, man. Jim Tang, the astronaut's weatherman, apologizing for tweeting so much, but there's a lot happening. As you can see, we got some major storms coming into Canada, Washington, Oregon, and the California. Then we got a comment from Big Bang Theory, Lanyard coming in. Looks fantastic. Got a big green coma with a, a hue, high dust levels, and the presence of a fantail. Fantail. We may be able to see with our naked eye or binoculars in December. Nibiru. Okay. 
Tropical Storm Slick Rick will probably turn into a hurricane and then hit Mexico again, causing major problems for them. And then we got two nor'easters, but are they really nor'easters because they're probably mostly rain and not much snow? I'll let you decide at home. Could take aim at the northeast, northeast next week, which is unusual for this time of year. Well, it's volcano weather. Volcano weather is weird. One could start the week, and then another could arrive toward the end of the week, leading to a multi-day stretch of cold and dreary weather. 70,000 years ago, a nomadic star came within a light year of the sun and tipped our planet over. Asterisk. We can talk about that later. But yeah, dude, the sun is about to super-duper wake up again. So that is excellent, super great news for everybody except for the people who've been on the Grand Solar Minimum. Okay, great, wonderful, fantastic. And to make matters worse, nobody on that team has a sense of humor. So they don't like it when I tell jokes. They get madder. Anyway, thank you all very much, Asteroid Fight Club. You guys are incredible. Thank you, Scotty. Thank you, Greg. Thank you, everybody out there. And if you'd like to contribute to help me get to the October goal, that would be wonderful. Especially since we shall be stocking up on a little bit of everything for the next few months because there are going to be major supply chain disruptions. I got a snail mail, a PayPal, Venmo, Cash, App, Patron. Whole lot of love for you. Everybody stay cool, stay great. It's going to be a weird week, but I should be here covering it for you guys. Amen. Talk to y'all soon. God bless everyone.